After four years of playing Warzone on mouse and keyboard, I finally switched to controller. And in this video, I'll be kind of giving my first impressions of how I am playing on a controller and some kind of pros and cons of each input in Warzone. And I will also be showing you a pretty cool solo win that I got on Rebirth playing on controller. So first up, why did I switch? So of course, there's a number of reasons. I have kind of felt that on mouse and keyboard, I can't really get any better at the game. I already am like a 2.5-ish kind of KD player, so well above average, but fighting players at close range on mouse and keyboard is a absolute disaster. If you've played on mouse and keyboard, you can probably relate. Let's just say if you push into a building, and then there's someone there. They slide past you, and you, with your mouse, need to drag it across your mouse pad, track the person. With the movement in this game, it can get very difficult to track that person. Fighting control players with aim assist, we're gonna get into that in this video. It's a big can of worms, but we're gonna talk about it. So, aim assist in Call of Duty is interesting to say the least so there's two different types of aim assist there's regular slow down aim assist so that is when you kind of aim at someone it like slows down the crosshair over that body basically that's slow down and then there's rotational aim assist and the biggest problem with warzone at the moment is rotational aim assist in my opinion and that is why i'm switching to controller pretty much if you're fighting someone as long as you're holding your left stick down so that is the movement stick you, you can be moving slightly it will allow you to hit your shots better and it pretty much perfectly tracks the enemy no matter what movements they do it's super super kind of unnatural and as a mouse and keyboard player fighting against someone with rotational try your best at tracking them at close range but it's very difficult of course on mouse and keyboard, there are some benefits though. Of course, sniping on mouse and keyboard is pretty phenomenal, of course, because it's your raw input. Everything you do on the keyboard translates into the game perfectly. Same with the mouse. Whereas on a controller, it kind of feels like my, my, my like arms have been chopped off. It's very weird to kind of explain, but I want to do something but I have to use the two thumbsticks and it just doesn't translate as well. Maybe that's because I'm a fairly new controller player and I have never really played any FPS games on a controller before. At least right now at my kind of controller skill level, sniping has been pretty difficult. But I think once you get better at sniping on a controller, you could be pretty decent. So we have talked about the kind of close range and long range engagements, but of course there are a few other things. I actually have been kind of trying to get better at both inputs. I, I still, of course, want to play both inputs in Warzone, but controller is definitely the dominant input at the moment, especially in the kind of pro Warzone scene. A lot of the pro Warzone players play on a controller. It is the vast majority, even in the CDL, but I believe in the COD League mouse and keyboards band or something like that, they can only use controller. But in Warzone specifically, most pro or competitive Warzone players use a controller because they kind of know the benefits. And let's come up with a hypothetical question. So if you had a 100 hours and you were brand new to gaming on, let's say, a computer or a console, which input would be better? So you could spend 100 hours learning mouse and keyboard or 100 hours learning controller. I will bet you that most... Pro Warzone players will say that spending 100 hours learning controller is much better. The benefits kind of outweigh the negatives on controller. But if you spend 100 hours learning mouse and keyboard, you might have some difficulties really kind of hitting your shots as mouse and keyboard does take quite a while to master. And the final thing is I actually got a new controller recently. So I really just want to give it a spin and see how it works. I'm going to be doing a bit of an announcement across all my socials within the next coming days. So keep an eye out on that. But either way, I guess we're going to continue spectating this and solo gameplay here that I got on controller. I was actually having a pretty good time. I did a live stream for about four hours playing on controller and at the very beginning I was not really warmed up properly. 
I could maybe drop a few kills, but then kind of fighting people up close was very difficult for me. Of course, the movement on mouse and keyboard and control is very different. Of course, like I already said, mouse and keyboard is all your raw inputs, whereas on a controller, it's kind of smoothened out, basically. I'm not really too sure how to explain it, but that's kind of how I think about it. So I want to do something that I could easily do on mouse and keyboard, but I can't do that on controller because it's just, it doesn't really translate as well. Couldn't really use movement to kind of out maneuver them, essentially. And here, yeah, as you can see, I use movement here pretty well. Smoke nade, and then I run back and I'm fine. But towards the end of the live stream and kind of after I got warmed up, after a few hours of playing the game, I was hitting some pretty good shots. I did a bit of sniping, and I was really kind of getting better at controller. And this was only kind of my first day within the past kind of couple weeks of uh, not playing on controller that consistently. I normally play Warzone on mouse and keyboard, so I kind of like already know how to play the game in terms of like, oh, the best rotations, best weapons, like the best high ground position, how to fight the zones, but... On controller, of course, you're relearning movement, you're relearning inventory management, you're relearning shooting players. There's a lot that's different. I think one of my biggest kind of um, things that I don't like about controller as well is if I'm parachuting down, the sensitivity is different compared to like when I normally run around fighting people. In this gameplay here, I'm playing on a 10-10 sensitivity with a 0.7 ADS kind of um, setting. And it feels really good. A couple weeks back, I was playing at a lower sensitivity, but I was having issues really turning around and playing the fights. I think if you played with a higher sensitivity, it would be a little hard to control. This is like the perfect middle ground for me at least. Kind of movement on controller, fighting players at close range. It, it's all new to me. Because in this gameplay, I'm using the WSP9, which... Hits like an absolute truck at close range. It's, I think, my favorite weapon for controller players. It just does so much damage, and you don't have to hit many shots to actually kill a target. And then I've paired it with the DG58 LSW, which is not the best weapon in the Warzone meta at the moment, but it's so, so easy to use. And even on mouse and keyboard, it is a very kind of low recoil beaming weapon. You guys are probably going to see me in, in this gameplay right here of um, kind of learning inventory management and kind of being kind of a bit all over the place. I want to, let's say, pick up an item, but I have to like look down at the controller and figure out which button it is because it's not muscle memory yet. Do a proximity mine down there because uh, proximity mines are very powerful in Warzone Season 3 at the moment. One other kind of difference between controller and mouse and keyboard is the input latency or like input lag on mouse and keyboard if your game isn't running smoothly enough you will feel input lag if your game is let's say stuttering you will feel that in your mouse input it is just not smooth you drag your mouse across the pad of course you, you can have a glass mouse pad or a a cloth pad or whatever you guys prefer using but you move the mouse across the pad and then it kind of like jumps in game because the game stutters or whatever it is feels very weird but then on controller since it's all smoothed out it's completely different in terms of the controller i was using in this gameplay i'm using a kind of ps5 controller and you guys will see this in a few days time as i mentioned earlier but this this controller has paddles on the back and it's actually really cool I have used an Xbox controller on Warzone in the past, but I think the biggest thing that gets me is the stick placement. So, of course, on an Xbox controller, two thumbsticks. There's one in the top left and one in the bottom right. DualSense controller. It's just two sticks right next to each other at the bottom. I definitely want to know your opinions on which one is better. Not really expose myself as I'm not too confident on controller yet. So, if let's say I jump down right now, I, I'd have to fight two people at once on controller and i found a lot by playing today on my live stream i can take out enemies one on one but if there's multiple enemies that are like wanting to fight you at the same time it's very difficult to actually do anything i died in the gas there and then uh 
of the arrows right here so and there you go <laughs> very nice uh, kind of solo win on a controller i definitely want to know what your opinion is on controller and if you play on that or mouse and keyboard i think i definitely will be playing on a bit of both but a lot more controller coming in the future that's for sure if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like subscribe for more now we'll see you in the next one